Hey, it's the analytics dude back talking about joints. Last time we talked about what joints are. Now let's talk about the four types of joints that you can use in nine. Those are the inner joint, left joint, right joint, and full outer joint. I'll cover how each of them work, what they do, and provide an example for each. The inner joint is what most analysis programs default to, and is sometimes referred to as just a joint. What this does is it compares the first and second databases that you select and only returns the records where there's a match between the two. The left join, or left outer join, selects all of the records in the first database, or left database, that you use, and then also returns records in the right database, or the second database that you use, where there is a match with something in your left. The right join, or right outer join, is the opposite of the left join. It selects all of the records in the right database, or second database that you're using, and returns only the records in the left where there's a match for something in the right. The full outer join, or just outer join, selects all of the records in left, all of the records in right, and then matches them when possible. All clear now? No? Not really? Okay. Well, let's look at an example. Table A is customer demographics. Table B is sales on a given day. Let's look at what happens when we join them using the various joining methodologies. Inner join gives us all of the demographic info on customers who made a purchase that day when we had demographic info for them. If someone in our database did not purchase anything, or the sale did not have demographic info, we get nothing. Notice that there are repeat entries for customer two. They bought two items, so they'll get two rows. These repeated rows can be the bane of new analysts, or people who forgot to consider multiple entries. Left outer joint gives us all the customer demographic info, plus the info on sales where we had the customer demographics. Any sales where we did not have demographic info would be excluded. This might be useful for evaluating why some customers did or did not buy. Right outer joint gives us all of the sales info, plus the info on customer demographics where they had sales. Any customers who did not buy anything would be excluded. This might be useful to identify which items might be bringing in new customers that we do not already have info for. And finally, full outer joints give you all of the info for both tables matched where possible. Hopefully that sounds simple enough, because it kind of is. Except when you have to join more than two tables together. That's when it gets super interesting and a visual workflow really comes in handy. Till next time, I'm the Analytics Dude. As always, let me know if you have any questions or comments or there's other topics you'd like to see me cover. Thanks for watching.